If you have one of these awesome E-Flight RC airplanes with a smart receiver in it, the ARR631 or the 637TA, then you need to see this. This makes a huge difference and there's a good chance that you need to do this and you don't even know that you need it. Take a look. All right, like I was just saying, now's a perfect time to show an example why you need to update your Spectrum products. If you want to win a jet like this, all you have to do is subscribe, click the like button, and leave a comment. And then uh, ring the bell so you don't miss my next video. At 1,000 subscribers, we gave this jet away. At 5,000, we're going to give another one. I don't know what it is yet. We'll see when that time comes. So, hey, subscribe, guys. Happy flying. Need to have them registered in your My Spectrum, it's called. You know, you go to the Spectrum's website, you create your login, and that is where you register your Spectrum products. And that part of the website where you have your products is called a My Spectrum. So inside your Spectrum, you have your products. Here is my number three E-Flight Extra 300. This is the Smart AR631 receiver in it. And when I bound it up and I entered forward programming to uh, enable safe select, I noticed that the forward programming menu was different than the forward programming menu for the Night Timber X. There just wasn't many choices there. So I went and lo and behold, I did not have this receiver registered yet. So I registered it and there's an update. So the 631 that is that is in here, let's go to forward programming. We're bound to the extra right now. It has software 2.38.04 and in the forward programming menu this is all you have gyro settings and say select and that's it and it gives you the ability to have a you know safe on and off or as3x in this flight mode or this switch position and the other position you know safe select is on that's your only choices uh, so that's weird. So you down at the bottom, AR6631, software 2.38.04. There is a software update that's been out for a while for the 631, and it is 2.38.5. So let's update it, and then we'll see the difference in the menu. So I've gone here to Spectrum and my Spectrum where my products are uh, registered and kept here in the Spectrum website. And here is the AR631 that is inside the new Extra. And we see software update instruction. And right here is the latest because it's at top. There's the second latest. It's on the bottom there. And here's one December 21st. 2020 and it says 2.38.5 so this is you know all we have we got 0.4 so here's a 0.5 so i'm going to download it and save it and then we're going to install it so i've downloaded and saved the update for the 631 the 2.38.5 and it's right here So I've opened up the Spectrum Updater, 
not the programmer, the updater, and connect to the plane with the USB program cable, power the cable, power the cable. And we were now connected because you can see the serial number. And you can see right here, version 2.38, then it says C4. That might be the dot four. So we've already select, we've already put the newer update in the box here and we're just gonna click install. And then it's gonna change it to the next uh, software level up. And then we'll see the screen of the transmitter and see what the difference is in the forward programming menu. Almost done. All right, it's finished. Now, look at version up here. 2.38C5. So we've definitely updated the receiver. So now let's look at the transmitter. So we just click power cable to turn it off. Okay, we're bound up to the new extra with our 631 and our updated uh, receiver. So let's take a look at the forward programming menu now and see uh, what, what a difference might be. Already looking different. We only had uh, gyro settings. We didn't have other settings until we updated it. And we didn't have the AS3X gains or the priority. And this menu is definitely not there. And look at the bottom where it says 2.3.5. And it was 0.4. So this is a perfect example why you need to have your Spectrum products registered. And in your Spectrum, you know, in the Spectrum website, you create a login. And that is where your Spectrum products are. And that's called My Spectrum. So that's your stuff. It's My Spectrum. And always uh, check for updates. You never know. An another update might come out the next month or next year. You, know, you just never know. A perfect example. Well, Sean, why are you changing the propeller? <laughs> because I don't want to mess this one up. Well, you, you said that. Because... We did a lot of repairs to the wings, so we added a, added a lot of weight on the wings. So I'm going to use the propeller as part of the uh, this balancing. You know, the center of gravity from the front to the back can be adjusted with the battery position or, you know, adding some weight here and there. But the balance from the side to side could be affected big time by the repairs of the wings. So hang tight, I'll show you, this will make sense. Okay, here's my idea. So I have the front set up obviously on a few paint cans and a couple boxes to keep it up that high because I wanted to keep the plane level. And in the back, I have it sitting on my CG machine which I've changed since you guys have last seen it. So we'll talk about it real quick and I'll show you the CG machine. So the roll of the plane, I've never checked like this before. Now I'm sure there's a better way, you know, a more scientific and more precise way, but hey, this is good enough for a uh, Sean work. So I did all kinds of repairs to each wing. Each wing has a couple uh, spars in it and a lot of two-part epoxy a little bit of filler a ton of paint a lot of glue a lot of clear vinyl a bunch of polycrylic each wing has quite a bit of weight built into it now compared to when it was factory i tried to keep them level you know so if i put uh three eight inch long spars in the left wing i put the same length of the ones in the right wing and the same number roughly in the same spot uh, roughly the same amount of glue etc so here we can see that the plane is is level so i did have like some l brackets there so i took some tires that were from that avias king twin pile of junk 
and I cut some flat edges on them and then I mounted them on some axles with no play to where it pivots real like perfectly. So the back of the plane is sitting right there and the front is on this setup right here and it is balanced. If I barely touch one side, it'll tip. So if one of the wings had a, you know, a lot more weight in it than the other, then it would definitely show it. There's no battery right now. If it was leaning one way or another, maybe I'd put the battery in, you know, off center a little bit. But what I was mainly looking for was if I did this setup and that was the best that I could get then I would know that this wing over here, you know, has, you know, an ounce more weight in it or what have you. But I would say that that is good enough for, good enough for me. Now it won't balance because I, of course it won't. <laughs> oh, well, I guess we need to put some in the other, in the other side. All right, here's the new and improved CG machine. So I had some L brackets and they were kind of sloppy and anyways I didn't feel like it balanced the planes as good as they could have but I've got some axle shafts from a ARF plane that fit these wheels perfectly where there's you know, no play and then I just cut off a flat spot and I made sure they both tires matched so now you can set the wing there are both wings on it. They're on some cushion to where you're not poking holes in the wings. And so far, that seems to be working. Okay. Hey, if you guys get uh, anything out of the videos I do, give me a thumbs up. And make sure that you're subscribed. That helps out the YouTube algorithm. And then it uh, helps me out. It, uh, it's a way of uh, you guys saying, hey, Sean, thank you. So, and then I say, hey, thank you. I appreciate you guys watching this stuff. So, all right, that's all I got for this one. I'll give you guys an update on the maiden flight of the extra 300 uh, number three and uh, report back. So I hope everybody's having a good weekend also and you guys get to go fly. So, all right, hey, until next time, you'll see me here. Almost forgot how to do it.